get the language right tonight. Right here. That's so now, now that, that there's no hell, there is 
there is something considered as hell, but not now. The hell we going through right here is the destitute of the knowledge of God. There is a lake of fire that when in the second life, when you walk back from judgment, that's when your soul is going to end up. But right now, my brother, we in the flesh. Who's going to the lake of fire in the flesh? No, no okay. God. Now speak of that. When you say the second life, that's when Christ comes back. Right. When Christ comes back, you say the dead in Christ is going to rise. Uh, right. For us, if we if we happen to remain alive with Christ's return, people who die are going to raise up and meet up, meet them up in the clouds, and then come. Then we're going to see Christ. Right. This is what uh, was left for us. Okay. What's the question? For us? Now, after that, that's when the judgment. And all the 144 in Revelation 7 will be gathered. Bring it up! Because this place shall be a desolate place for foul birds. That's right. All you want to see is going to be wasted, brother. Bring it up! No more America. That's right. It's going to be wasted. We're going to go back to our homeland, Jerusalem. That's right! This will be wasted. Bring it up! the prophecy of the Bible. Let's talk about the second day. The dead, small and great, everybody who died. Stand before who? Stand before God. You know? And the books were open. The books were open. The books now, the books of the law, and the book of the record that the angels kept of all of us. Everything that we do right here is being recorded by the angels. Right. Because in judgment, you gotta have evidence. Right. There gotta be evidence presented to the judge, which is God, on your life. And another book was open. Another book was open. Which is the book of life. The book of life that was recorded everything we did out here. All the lust we got involved in, all the sins that we did, all the secret sins we had. That book is open. Read on. And the dead were judged out of those things. The who? And the dead were judged out of those things. The dead were judged out of the books that was recorded on. They were brought back again to be judged in front of God. From the book of the law and the book of our lives on earth. You know? Bring it up. Which were written in the books according to their works. According to their works. And the dead in the sea gave up the dead. Uh-huh. Which were in it. Stop. That's heavy. You know how much of our people is in the sea from the coast of Africa, from the Gold Coast all the way up here to this side of the world, all the way to England? You know how much of our people is in that sea, brother? How much of our people they tossed dead bodies, executed in the sea? God said the sea is going to give up all the dead. All of our ancestors is going to come back too. And that dead, right, right. And death and hell delivered up the dead? And death and hell. Nobody went to hell yet. Because that's the judgment. What is he talking about? This condition. America is going to have to give back to God his people. Right. There's right. no more this impoverished condition. We're not going to be living in that thing no more. Right. Read. Death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. Uh huh. And they were judged, every man according to their works. They were judged. Every man according to their works, according to the laws of God, and according to what you've done on this earth. Because when this day comes, every man on the face of this earth will have heard the truth. That's right. Will have heard who the true Messiah is, like brothers are hearing today. So ain't gonna be no excuse, oh God, I didn't know. I didn't know I had to keep the commandments. I didn't know Christ was black. The lion put him to death. Right. Every man is gonna know the truth before this day comes. Right. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Death and hell. So all this condition, dying, we're gonna be immortal at that point. The condition cast in the lake of fire. Read on. This is the second death. This is the what? This is the second death. That's what people don't understand about God. This is the fleshly realm right here. And then we're gonna be born back Now I'm gonna kill you again. Now your soul 
not this flesh and body, the soul is going to remain in eternal damnation. Right? What? It's the second death. They don't talk to us about this in these uh, Christianity second religions. That's no. right. They don't talk to you about that. Right. No. That's it. Right, go ahead. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life. That's why we're going to get Revelation 21-12 uh, to show you who was written in the book of life. Whoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Was destroyed. Because this kingdom is going to be ruled by the chosen people. That's, That's right. right. Revelation chapter 21 verse 12. Mm -hmm. And had a wall great and high. And had 12 gates. And at the 12 gates, 12 angels. Stop. Christ gave a revelation to John. This is what the kingdom is going to look like. A high wall with 12 gates. Now, in the 12 gates, there's what? Had 12 gates. And at the 12 gates, uh -huh. 12 angels. 12 angels. If you read back in the Old Testament Genesis, he put two cherubim to guard garden, right? Flaming sword. The angels we think at that gate, it's not what they've been perceived to us. They're the white people dressed with white garments with wings and all that. No! If you see the four beasts of Daniel, angels are some scary looking things, bro. It, it, it's not what they told us. Angels are some scary looking beasts. Some of them got four faces, man. Bring it up! Four faces, you won't even be able to stare at them. That's how crazy they look. Bring it up! He got four angels at the 12, he got 12 angels at the gates. Why would you put angels at the gates? Why you gotta bounce right out of club? If you ain't paying, you ain't got your ID, you can't get in. Right. You got 12 angels at the gates. Bring it up. And had 12 gates, man. The gates, 12 angels. Uh -huh. And names written thereon. And there was names. There's 12 gates. Remember, he said, all of those who are not found written in a book is going to get cast away in the kingdom. You understand what I'm saying? So now you got 12 gates, a high wall. That means ain't nobody scaling the wall like that. Remember the old castles that I can show you in these movies? Did you ever know the that guy short, small walls? No, the kingdom had high walls. Then you have men to guard it. But at the gates, 12 angels guarded the gates. And on top of the gates, there were names. Read on. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel? No, the name of the whole world. The names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's the names that were found in the book. So, if you take heed and find out who of these 12 tribes and nations belong to, one of those gates is for you. 12 names of 12 tribes. What? So, where's the Chinese man gonna go? Where's the white man gonna go? Where's the Japanese gonna go? This ain't nothing we making up. It's in the Bible in the credits. Go read it, bro. It ain't nothing that we made up. So these were the names I was found in a book, the children of Israel. Everybody else, that don't conform, that's not our, give me that in uh, uh, 10, 13, anybody that's not our servant, guess what's going to happen? Cast to the lake of fire. So how you become a servant? How you, you no, become who, who becomes a servant? Those who's going to submit that we are the rulers. Those that are willing to bow down to our feet. There's some people that's not going to be willing to bow down to the feet. They hate niggas. To know that, damn, those people who've been oppressed for so long, they the one that's going to call the shots? Hell no, I'd rather die. That's how some nations going to be. But those that's going to submit and serve us, that's the only way they're going to be in our kingdom. Read that. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. Bring it up. If any man hit, have an ear, let him hear. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Read on. He that leadeth into captivity. He that does what? He that leadeth into captivity. Who did this to you? Was he the only one? No, he was not. If you read Chinese history, Buddha was a big black guy. They changed that history. Martial arts originated from us. They changed that history. They had us in captivity too. Arabs had us in captivity. Right. The Japanese, all of them had us in captivity. Till this day, they hate your guts. Bring it up. Do a research.
research about black people in China and Japan and see how they treat these people. Same way. We're in the ghettos the same way. In those foreign lands. There was a young sister that went, I think it was a Chinese beauty pageant. Because her father's black and she didn't consider herself as Chinese. She didn't get it. All the nations hate China. So if you, if they say, they say one d does martial arts and he does Chinese martial arts. Right. Would that, would that go against his, 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 uh, his religion? No, no, no. The reason why I said that is because God said you are the former of all things. Right. We originate all things. Right. Through our lack of understanding, our disobedience towards Him, we lost who we were. Right. So all the other nations stole what we had. Right. right. We had mighty men. That's right. Valiant warriors. Right. That slew lying like men in the snow. That's right. He had men that slew a thousand dudes in one day. Right. Bring it up. Let's fight three, four dudes. Let me know if you still stand. You had a man that could fight 10,000 dudes in one day, bro. Where you see that? In Chinese movies. They fighting all over. Killing a whole bunch of people. That's us. Right. But we don't know that. Finish that. He that leadeth in captivity. Everybody that had their hands in the slavery of the children of Israel. Read. Bring it up. Into captivity. So if you're not going to be our slave and our servant, there's no room for you in the kingdom. Yeah. And that's prophecy. This did not take place yet. Right. That's why we got to get our mind right. We're not battling a carnal warfare right now. Our warfare is spiritual. We got to get our minds right in order even to be accepted by our God. Right now, our God is not accepting us. Our God is making us suffer the curses that he put for us for not listening to Boy, you understand that, right? This is how you prove that you're an Israelite. You gotta go to Deuteronomy 28 chapter. Go to Deuteronomy 28 chapter. Exactly what the prophecy said in Revelation is what happened to your people. You understand what I'm saying? Your name was changed. You were called by words. You were not able to read. You saw the slave master take your wife, impregnate your wife, hung your sons, sold your kids for liquor on the auction block in Walker Street, Philadelphia. That's the problem with our people. We hate each other so much. Read the history of Market Street down in Philadelphia. That was the main slave port coming. It was auctioning Negroes right here. This ain't our place. This ain't our block. This ain't our country. What? We brought here as slaves. What? Do a research on Market Street in downtown Philadelphia. Bring it up. They sold us right there. Bring it up. The monuments. How they sold niggas here. Pants landing. They still have. But we're oblivious to that. That don't mean nothing to us. That don't ring a bell that we, we don't belong in. The way we live, we're not supposed to be living that. That don't ring a bell at all. But guess what? Most I got to bring a few of these brothers into remembrance who they are. They're not looking to save the whole world. We're looking to those who have the spirit. Let's go, because only one third of our people is going to make it to this destruction. Two thirds of our people is going to die. So guess what? One man repent, the angels are in, 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 in heaven celebrating. So some we hear, some will commit. But we are committed to be out here for those who are here, for those who are lost. Like a brother like you that's in fire. We are here for you. So our time today is not wasted, brother.
For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man. I ain't saying that no more. It's our fault, man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.